Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the show. All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Black Manta. Look at him. He looks marvelous. Looks marvelous. Aquaman Comics. Let's go ahead and take him out the box and let's get to the reviewing. Check me out on all major social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Macari, and Facebook. Ow! See you there, babies. Okay, ladies and germs, there is Black Manta out of the package. So before we take a look at Black Manta, let me push him back here. Hopefully he doesn't fall. Um, let's take a look at his accessories. So he does come with, of course, a black circular base right there. And this awesome, magnificent weapon looking piece right here. I'm glad they actually put some orange on it for the detail. It's mostly all black, silver right there. And then it comes with a tr uh, comic book. Look at that. Aquaman comic book. Really, really nice. We're not going to go through it real quick. Well, actually, we'll go through it real quick. There's Aquaman. Um, really, really cool. Really nice artwork. I like it a lot. All right, guys. Um, and then here's a little read-up on Black Manta. There's a little read-up if you guys want to read it, pause it. All right, so let's take a look at Black Manta. Um, very, very, very nice. You know, one thing I don't particularly care especially for McFarlane is these blades this one is a little bit more plastic um I don't like when he gives us these rubber blades and plus they're attached as well as you guys can see let me bring my camera down just a little bit <clears throat> so yeah they're attached blades um which I do wish they were removable because uh, they're gonna break off that's the great thing about detachable blades is you can remove them you know, or you, when you're playing around with them, they just fall off. But these are in there. I don't, I don't like that. That's one thing I kind of dislike. Uh, blades being attached to figures and guns being attached to figures, too. It, it kind of sucks. But anyways, let's take a look at Black Manta. <laughs> I like him a lot, man. The detail is very, very, very nice. My camera could focus. Very, very nice, man. And he's a very solid, sturdy figure. I like the back piece right here as well. Very nice. All of, all the weight, as you guessed, is right here in the back torso right here. This is a, a solid piece right here. This right here is a solid piece right here. It's a different kind of plastic that they use. It's not the cheap kind. And the flexibility on him, the torso range, look at that, man. That's probably some of the best I've seen for a McFarlane figure. And then the head movement up, up, down, left, right, A, B, A, B. Um, of course, it's not really hindered by the hoses. They actually articulate very, very well with the head right there, as you guys can see. And he's got some really, really good head movement, double jaw, double ball joint right there. Very, very nicely articulated figure. Let's see. Legs, they go out that much. Knee. Look at that. Man, he's just well, nicely designed. I don't know what's up with this. I think they put the toe articulation in backwards. That's the first time I've seen the toe go like that. Usually it'd go up. Yeah, I think they put that in backwards. It goes down for whatever reason. I don't know what purpose that serves. If you guys know, let me know. Let me see. Yeah, that's very nice. And he does have a swivel too, a waist swivel. Um, arms, they go up and down, like so. Very, very nice, man. Very nice figure. I like him a lot. Okay, let's do some comparisons. So let's put Black Manta right here. One of the last DC figures I reviewed of the Flash. I really love this Flash. Another Page Punchers, to be exact. Uh, I really like these Page Punchers. I think most of them are really, really good. I've picked up maybe half of them, if that. Not really, I don't know, really for sure. Uh, but there he is with the flash page punchers. That's how they measure up right there. Very, very nice. And then here he is with one of my last reviews of Folkum. Folkum Abotamus. Let's do a quick comparison right there. Very, very dope, guys. Okay, let me put him back up on the turntable. 
Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do a qu couple more comparisons, being that I got him out here. How about Spider Woman, Cyborg Spider Woman? That's how he measures it up. Right there. Oh, let me do a quick measurement. I forget, I'm forgetting what the hell I'm doing here. Um, skull. And then, Black Manta stands. Uh, just uh, seven and three fourths tall. That's just a little bit under eight inches tall. Nice. Let's put him on the turntable. Okay, guys, there is Black Manta right there. And uh, I have to say, this is a really, really great figure. Really, really nice looking Black Manta. Um, it's very simplistic, but yeah, it's done in a very, very unconventional way. Articulation is really good on this guy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, too. I forgot to show him with uh, weapon in hand. I will do that in a moment. <clears throat> um, I was just kind of distracted by these blades. Uh, that's the only thing that sucks about this figure is these blades are not removable. Other than that, paint apps are clean. Body is good. Articulation is really good. Uh, overall, I'd probably give this figure an 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. I really like this figure. Let's put the weapon in hand, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, guys, so there he is, weapon in hand. And, uh, yeah, this is a great, great figure. If you're looking for a really good Black Manta, I highly, highly recommend this piece. This is a really, really nice piece. Really solid, solid release from McFarlane Toys. I like this Black Manta. Really dope figure. I can definitely recommend it from one collector to another, another DC collector to another. I really like this Black Manta. I suggest go pick it up. And there you guys have it. If you liked this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, you know, all that great stuff. I just want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out. Hey.